Well, good afternoon. This is Plant Smart Living with Farmer Fred. Thankful that you could join us today. It's a warm, humid day here in, Har in uh, Harleysville in Pennsylvania, and so we thought we would move inside the kitchen and, and do another video today. And, uh, you know, we're just so thankful that we can, here at Plant Smart Living, we can talk about gardening. You know, it's a wonderful thing to be able to grow these vegetables out there. And, you know, the potatoes and the peppers and the and all the, the different squashes because you know that's our energy source for for our uh, lifestyle here because we're, we're uh, also want to promote uh, healthy living and so uh, the, a lot of our videos have been uh, geared towards healthy living and healthy food choices and so one of our uh, vi our video today is going to be on uh, healthy snack food choices and uh, you know, living this lifestyle, we're not really restricted as a lot of people think. You know, there's so many healthy food options and substitutes out there. And so it's just really been, been amazing. Uh, you know, we gain so much more than we, we've we left behind. And so leaving the meats and dairies and the harmful foods, uh, you know, getting away from the poisons and now eating these healthy promoting foods are, have just been a blessing in my life and, and some of my family. So anyhow... Uh, some healthy snacks that I have learned over the last three years. Uh, these are called woven wheats. I get they're 365. I get these from from Whole Foods, and so they only have a few ingredients in them. Uh, actually, it's whole wheat and salt. And so, you know, you you want to begin to analyze and do research. You know, with ingredients and foods and and even any type of health information out there. You really want to make sure it's coming from a a true faithful source that it's good true science there's a lot of false science a lot of junk science uh, out there that's we're just being bombarded by you know it's like we're drowning in false information and so uh, there are some good science out there that teaches good health but it takes a lot of work and caring and compassion to really want to learn about our health and health of others so anyhow the, these uh, woven wheat uh, baked crackers are a good healthy choice and so you also have these wasa multi-grain crisp bread uh, these are good you you know with bruschetta on them or salsa they're nice and crispy I've I've had every one of these crackers and so uh, these are also McDougal approved you could say and so and then they're only a couple bucks for each pack and then also you have the, the Rivita Crunch light rye. They're also another healthy snack option. You know, you could put uh, again put you know you could put this cowboy caviar on it or or salsa here on any one of these crackers. And so we also have um, something that most of you are familiar with. You have these Snyder's sourdough hard pretzels. And you also again want to watch oils you know there's canola oils we were looking through different pretzel options this morning and even Snyder some of their other pretzels had canola oil in it so really want to try to stay away from the oil that's one thing I've learned it's very harmful to our bodies even one tablespoon is 120 calories and so it's really calorie dense there's no absolutely zero nutritional value in it although they seem to glorify oils today the only oil we really use in our house is uh, 10W30 and for our car and a 3-in-1 oil to, to oil our hinges. And so, uh, so the pretzels, again, are another good healthy choice option. Something else you could do is these corn tortillas. We did a, did a video uh, the other day on, on healthy breads. And this was one of the ones uh, that was in there. They're, they're corn tortillas. And a good trick that I learned is you can make your own potato chip out of these. These are made out of white corn, water, and lime. But what you can do is you take each one and you, you can put it in the microwave for a minute and a half to make a, a, a delicious, healthy cracker. In fact, I have one in the microwave. Let me just pull that out real quick. And so, on my microwave, this took a minute and a half to make. And so, again, it's uh, there's only... Uh, a few ingredients it's white corn water and lime and so they come out nice and crispy see I, I used to uh, before I started this lifestyle which was about three years ago before I used to buy the the blue chips the corn chips 
which are full of oil and high in salt. And also I would buy a lot of the uh, different sa sauces like hummuses. But I learned also they had a lot of hidden oils in them. And so we, we actually make our own hummus here in our house. Uh, maybe someday we'll do a video on how you can make a good healthy hummus. But these uh, chips, these uh, white corn tortillas make a, a great chip. And so I would even recommend that you can just uh, use these as chips. And they kind of have a, a neutral taste to them. And so the flavoring that you put on there really jumps out. Now, you know, this happens to be fire roasted tomato salsa that I got from uh, Trader Joe's. And so you could use that with your chips or even on any of these crackers. Again, this is a cowboy caviar, caviar that we got from Trader Joe's. And so these again are good options that you can put on your crackers or any one of these crackers. And so, anyhow, I hope these ideas have been helpful for you. If you have any questions or comments or suggestions or if you want to subscribe to our channel to get more videos in the future, just please do so below in the section below. And so I just want to thank you for joining us today. This is Plant Smart Living with Farmer Fred.